Good morning, it's Mary Beth Shaw from Stencil Girl Products. I am the founder of Stencil Girl Products. I have, um, I thought of this company in 2010, basically started it with six stencils of my own design, and now we have mm, like a thousand, it's insane. And I'm a teacher. I've written a couple books. One is called Flavor for Mixed Media. The other one is called Stencil Girl. I write a column for, um, for Somerset Studios Magazine, which I definitely enjoy doing. And I am happy to be coming to you live on Facebook. I gotta tell you a story before we start because this is unbelievable. Uh, you can see Brooke here behind me. I'm in my studio. And I'm on um, I'm on the second floor of a building that was built in like the 1800s, right? So we do have air conditioning, but it's um, it's not real reliable, right? So yesterday I'm here in my studio working, and I hear this bam, 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 and I'm like, oh my god, what is going on? So I'm like running around and I'm looking out on the roof and I can't see anything going on and I'm freaking out. And then I realized, oh my God, it's my air conditioning unit. So I have no air conditioning now. So I, um, my landlord is out on the roof right now attempting to fix it. I've told him I'm live on Facebook and, I, and he's like, yeah. And so, and I'm like, that means be quiet, please, if you could not make any noise, which he thought was very amusing. I think what would be, be even more amusing is if I walked over there with the camera and pointed it at him, at which time he would probably poop his pants because that would be so against him, his idea. He's like uber private. Anyway, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about art journaling. Um, you know, a lot of people ask me about art journaling and why I do it, and um, you know, I'm late to this whole art journal game. I never used to do it at all. In fact, I, I used to actually ask the same thing of people who did art journal. I would say, why do you even do that? What do you do with it? Because I considered myself an exhibiting artist. I had to put my art in galleries or in art fairs to sell it to earn money so that that was how I earned my living and I just couldn't understand why you would make an art journal like why would you put it you know why would you put your art in a journal because then you can't sell it right well then when I became um, involved in running stencil girl products I realized that I didn't have so much time to make my wall hanging art anymore and the idea of making art and putting it in a journal became way more appealing to me and then a couple years ago I taught this class in um, for the ink pad in New York City and it was me Andrew Borlos, Pam Carricker and Michelle Ward and the four of us taught this class and my part of the class was painting pages kind of like I showed you yesterday only it was a longer much longer version of it but um, Andrew's part was making it into a book and then Michelle and Pam did the art journal part and so I made my very first little art journal in that class and um, Here's some pages. It's a small little book. Andrew helped me bind it because precision is not my strength. I'm more of a wing it kind of girl. But as the class went on and as Pam and Michelle were teaching, I had an opportunity to journal a little bit in my book. And I just want to read. Well, first of all, I want to show you this spread. Here's half of it. And then here's the other half of the spread. So I don't know if you can get far, but if I can get far enough back for you to see the whole spread. But I wrote on here, in the words of Michelle Ward, the answer is on the page. And I just thought that was such an amazing and thoughtful thing. And here, you know, the page was wet, it ripped a little bit, and I'm like, you know what, big deal. So this was my very first art journal and it's filled you know I've pretty much filled every page in this puppy 
and I did it right away and I'm gonna lift up a pile to show you here this is some of the journals that I currently have going a lot of these in this pile are finished because I'm going to be showing you some of the pages and things that you can do in your own journals. So um, this is one of the things I use my stencils for a lot is in the journal pages. For instance, this one, when I'm trying out new stencils, this is a, a Nancy Curry stencil. And when I'm trying it out to see how it's going to work, Here's a stencil of mine, curvy lattice. Here's another stencil that I was testing. And it's fantastic for me to just put it down. Ooh, a little Tracy Batista there. Put it on the page and just play with the paint. And here's the thing about journaling. Like, look at this flower. So I stenciled the flower and then I went back at a later point in time and I took paint pens and I just doodled on my own painted journal page. For me, that's a very soothing thing to do. Here is some more. This was actually my birthday. Some friends of ours, my friend Julie Snyder and her husband took us on little, uh, what are those things called? Uh, segways, I guess. And so anyway, it can become for me, it's a real savior, honestly. Um, you know, you've probably heard the saying that uh, art heals, and I find that to be incredibly true. So, let me tell you when my journaling really kicked into high gear. My husband got cancer, and my mom got cancer, like within, I don't know, probably six months of each other. And so I had a really crappy year. Um, I don't know what year that was. Um, it was maybe a year, two years ago, two or three years ago. So I was over at my parents' house. I was taking care of my mom. And um, this is the spread that I did in their living room. And you can see the depth in this. That is a picture that I had taken and I just printed it out on my regular printer and incorporated it into the page. When I'm working on my art journals, I just glue with a glue stick. I use a Yoohoo, U-H-U, -U, and um, I wrote in my little, you know, my little language that no one can read. And I remember writing about my mom having cancer and how, you know, this wasn't part of the plan and, and everything. And this page just has become so special to me because at that difficult time I was able to express myself and I don't know, I look back on it and it brings me joy even though it came out of a very difficult experience. Now here's another page I'm going to show you that uses that same stencil that I was using on the paper yesterday. And here's the other half of the page, again using the same stencil. And I have some little embellishments that I found somewhere that I glued down. But this was when that stencil was first coming out, which is kind of funny, I thought, since I had chosen to use the stencil yesterday. and. Um, Here's a page that I did when Pam Carricker and I were teaching together. And we have this class we teach called the Art Journal Roadshow, where she and I compare and contrast our approaches to art journaling. Um, because you know I'm a golden artist educator. And um, hey, we're getting some comments down there. Hi, Sheila Marshall. I'm so glad you're working on a layered stencil project. You know what? You need to post a picture of it so we can see it. Um, here's a way you can do writing on a journal page. See that curve? I was actually writing on there and along a curve to give the, the page some movement. And 
Um, so anyway, this art journal roadshow, Pam and I do, so she has her own line of paints and then I use Goldens and we compare and contrast and play and Gretchen Laporte, thank you. I love these colors too. I've actually been working on paintings with these colors lately. And that's the other thing about art journaling. Like it may start out to be this soothing thing. Hey, Sue Noel, I was just thinking about you the other day. Hello. Um, it may, art journaling may come, start being a soothing thing, and then it can turn into real art that jumps off the page. Oh, we've got Michelle Ward on here. She calls me the reluctant journaler, and it's so true, but Michelle, you saw the very first day, and I think about you so much when I journal. And Deb Carfs is asking me, do I ever remove pages from my journals for other use? That's a really good question. And no, I don't. But I will use the page as a jumping off point for other artwork. And in fact, I think that's a really good way to work because the more you deal with a topic, whether it's a particular subject, whether it's a particular composition, whether it's a particular color scheme, the more you deal with it and work with it over and over and over, the more you will make it your own and you will embed it with um, this real sense of purpose and soul. And and I, I like my work to be about that. You know, I'd like to say, you know, you get there every time, but you don't. I was talking to a girlfriend the other day, my friend Julie Snydel, and we were talking about um, art, like we always do. <laughs> and I said, you know what? Art reminds me of playing golf. I said, it is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. And it is. You come back all the time because it challenges you and it takes you to another place. And I used to feel the same way with, with golfing. I don't golf anymore, but um, I gave that up. Never given up my art, though. Never, ever, ever. But um, I've got some more pages to show you guys here. Somebody had asked about the color scheme. Let me look up some of those colors and then I am going to, I think Sandy, that was you that was asking about the colors. Let me look them up and I will put them down in the comments after we're off the air so you can take a look. And you guys stay on the air with me the whole time because I got a surprise here at the end. This is a spread I did with a new stencil of mine and um, it was actually chosen to be on um, it was chosen to be on a blog post in memory of Dan Eldon which if you guys haven't checked out his books he he's passed on now but he is the most amazing and inspirational human being ever and just look up his name on on um, Amazon and his mom and his sister have written some books about him but anyway um, I was thrilled and honored to be on a blog post that recognized him okay so the next journal and you're probably you might be wondering what kind of journals I use does not matter some of them I made by hand as I've shown you this is a Canson XL the mixed media ones that you can get get at your big box stores and all I do is I glue fabric on the front and the back because I want to make it pretty so I use those I like dilutions journals quite a bit also so mainly the important thing is to use what feels good to you because you are the one it's your journal so make it yours and do something that um, work in a journal that feels good. I know I like a really smooth page, so that's why I like these Canson XLs. The um, pages are really smooth. Here is a page where I was really rocking the pink and purple. I was playing with some of Gwen LaFleur's new stencils, and I had also picked up some tissue paper at Michael's. See this strip right down here? That's tissue paper that is just, I think they call it like decoupage paper. It's really pretty, so kind of expensive, but it's pretty, so I used a coupon. 
And this, this is what we're doing. This is my part of the lesson for Art Journal Live that is down in Arlington, Texas in a couple of weeks. I believe there's still some, um, some openings for this one. And this is, I'm gonna be using a two color palette and teaching some very specific techniques that really rock my world. And um, I just find the more I learn about color, the more I want to learn about color. I'm a little bit of a geek, maybe. I'm a color geek. So anyway, um, let's get another journal out here. I gotta toss them out of the way. Crash, it hit my candy dish, did you hear it? Um, okay, so let's see, my landlord left. I think he got scared that I was really gonna put him on the air. This is a really powerful spread that I did. And you know, I don't remember what I was going through at this time, but I think it was something pretty intense. Oh, Carol Howard is on here, and she said Dan Eldon's journal is called The Journey is the Destination, and his story is remarkable, and truly it is. I would say if you have ever been interested in journaling or just a very interesting story, um, he's a very inspirational human being, and I'm so glad that his mom and his sister carry on his story. Martise and Peg, join the club. Lots of color geeks here. Ha! <laughs> yeah, we are a bunch of color geeks, huh? And I experiment with color a lot. One of the things I like to do when I'm experimenting with color is to exploit the, um, exploit the complementary colors and see what you can make with that or just use a triad of colors and just using your one triad and maybe pick a different red, yellow, blue, not the normal one, and then play and see how many colors you can build from there. I, yeah, I'm a huge color geek. Andrew Borlos is on here. I wonder if Andrew realizes I was talking about him earlier, about how he helped me make my very first journal. Here's another page. You know, it's kind of funny. I really like pink and purple, don't I? Wouldn't have thought it, but apparently I do. In this page, I have some collage elements in here where I tried to show, I tried to leave words showing. I have her journey, laughed and danced. She forgave. You know, these are things that are personal to me, and I don't really want to go into the stories, but I think that's what journaling does for me. It helps me process, um, process my feelings and also find inspiration for um, my other work. So here's a crazy page that doesn't have anything but color. Look at that. Yes, Martise is looking up Dan Eldon's book, too. If you missed it, The Journey is the Destination. Beautiful book. This journal is so, so filled. Here's where I was on a mad doodling rampage. Can you see all that doodling on top? Isn't that nuts? But that's the kind of thing I will go back, and you can just open a journal anytime and work further in it. Well, listen, I want to show you the treat here, and I'm going to post this after we get offline here. Basically, you can get 10% off all Stencil Girl stencils. Not the Stencil Club, though, just the stencils. And this is in addition to our regular discount, which we all, always offer. And so here's the code, Stencils Live. And the first word, stencils, is lowercase, and then live is all uppercase, but it's one word. I'm gonna post this later so, um, so that you'll get it right. And Leslie Higby, you're new to stencils. Wow, nice. There's a lot of um, stencil lovers on here, names I know, and I'm just thrilled to see you all. Yeah, Sheila, yeah, I know I enable you with the discount. <laughs> what can I say? I can't help myself I cannot help myself so thanks so much for watching 
Uh, you may have heard I have made this crazy commitment to do this every day for the end of June. Jim Smith, hello! Coming to us probably from some fabulous location in California. Um, okay, we got a question from Mashi. Mashi, I hope I'm not saying your name wrong. Love your artwork. Hope you can answer a question. Any idea why I'm great at working on my art journal, but when I try to work on my art on a canvas I freeze and almost never like the outcome oh my gosh that is a great 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 question and I know exactly why it is because you put too much pressure on yourself because I do the same thing and you need to get your brain out of the way sweetheart that is I find my brain like right here between these ears that is my worst enemy and um, in my journal, I feel free and open and I explore and play. And then I go to the canvas and I get all uptight and I'm like, with a brush. And you know, so if you can try to get your brain out of the way, that would be the best recommendation that I could give to you. And it's easier said than done. I know that it's easier said than done. But one way I do it is I work on multiple pieces at the same time. And that way I'll do something on one and move to another, then move to another and circle around. So to keep myself busy. Another thing that I will sometimes do is I will listen to a podcast or something else to keep my brain engaged elsewhere. And that lets my intuition play a little bit more. And then I get that soulful art journal vibe going so I'm really glad you asked that question that was a great one that's a great place for us to end you guys that just popped in we're offering a discount I'm gonna post it here in the comments and I think I'm gonna head on out I hope everybody has a lovely day tomorrow I'm gonna show you a little bit of my house because I'll be broadcasting from home so I'll see you then you can watch this later oh also also there's a subscribe button I'm told I don't see it because I'm doing the live part but there's a subscribe button and if you hit that then you'll be advised anytime I do this again and you'll get a notice on it so okay thanks so much bye bye